Greetings and welcome to the Sports Card Ripping Teacher. I do hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas yesterday. I know we had a good time with uh, family and food and some surprising football. And Jax was the winner of the uh, fantasy football matchup between him and Graham. Jax is going on to the championship next weekend against the Kid of Cards. And Jax, when is the last time you actually checked your fantasy football team? Probably like five weeks ago. Five weeks ago. Are you going to keep Ramondre Stevenson in your starting lineup, or will you be switching him out since it is the finals? Switching him out. Going to switch him out. All right, so it's a bold move there, buddy. All right, so no number of the day today just because I'm not in the classroom. And as you know, the number goes along with our math lesson. But I am going to update you on the Pater Fantasy Football League. First off, the winner of week 13 through 16 with a season high for a session, 19 touchdowns, goes out to God is Great and Wildcat. The dogs are going at it right now, folks. So we are going to get out some custom cards uh, to God is Great and Wildcat. 19 touchdowns. Cards by Mark was right there with 16. Now, here's the overall points. Now, we have two weeks left. So these two weeks are together, but... You can switch out players for each week. So you can email me or do a video for your week six or sorry, week 17 lineup. And if someone's gonna sit, you no, know, because their team has already made it, you can switch them out. Just let me know. So here's our overall leaders. Nikki two times in first place with 66 touchdowns. Second place, cards by Mark coming on strong here in the back stretch with 65 touchdowns. Third place, a kit of cards with 64. And then Doogie's Dugout and myself are tied with 62 touchdowns. And then we go down to Lively Card Collector, 69. And then three good nerds with 55. God is great and Wildcat. They are moving on up out of the basement. They are in eighth place with 48. Uh, what they're cracking with 47. And Graham has 40. Now, like I said, you can have the same lineup for both weeks or if you want to switch after week 17 uh you can do that there's always these teams that aren't gonna be playing too much they're really going ahead after there aren't they don't they know we're taping so here's gonna be my lineup i'm going back to week one where i won the whole thing i'm going with jordan love and i think christian watson is going to play so he's going to be uh, one of my wide receivers justin jefferson gets to play that porous packers defense and then Christian McCaffrey. Why did I not start Christian McCaffrey the past previous weeks? All he does is score touchdowns. Just because they had a bye week or something like that. I did not start them. All right, Jax, you open up this pack of Mosaic. I got a pack of Optic right here. All right, maybe you pull a Genesis out of there. You've had good luck with Genesis. Okay. There we got the little, like, kind of grayish, greenish. Um, it's the case hit for those. All right, here we go here. Jeremy Hill. Brandon Cooks, whoops, a little stick in there. Brandon Cooks, oh man, here we go. Here's one of the big hits out of this box. Debo. You got Debo? No touchdown for Debo yesterday. I've got here a little bit of sticking together. Dak Prescott, rookie card, rated rookie right over there. And Sheldon Rankins. Anything else you got out of that card there, Jax, or pack? All right, one more pack out of Mosaic. Graham just came in the room, or in the room. Graham, what do you got to say about your showdown with Jax and your uh, fantasy football that matchup? That was rigged. Rigged. Rope Con Rick. Smith. Terrell Davis. Eh. Tiki Barber. I would have won if Brandon Ayuk didn't play good. Lawrence Taylor, but he did, and Jax even spotted you he a player. He only won by 17. Sam Howell. And a Josh Allen. That's a pretty sharp looking card right there. Josh Allen. All right, folks. We will come back at you Friday with our downtown hunt. Class in.